Hey everyone, we're back again, and today we'll be making some stairs. We're going to start off by opening the layers menu and selecting the measure layer. And then we're going to hide everything but the measure layer and the floors layer by clicking on the magnifying glasses on those layers. Here I'm just going to create a measure object, uh, put it in edit mode, turn the snaps on, and then I'm just going to snap it to this corner right here. Now that I've done that, uh, I can hide the floors layer, snap to that tip while holding the uh, trigger on my non-drawing hand and I'll pull this out um, put in edit mode and I think I'm gonna pull this out about two inches now I can get rid of that first measure object so right now we're at the top of the second floor about halfway into the interior wall now we're gonna make a measurement two inches to the left which is the downstairs direction. And now a measurement straight down one inch. And another one straight down one inch. And on the left side, we're going to make one, uh, another one down one inch. Our steps are going to have noses to them, and these measurements are going to help us make the nose for the top floor. Now I'm going to start making measurements for the actual stairs. We're going to have a seven inch rise. So... We're just stretching this down to seven inches. And then we're gonna have an 11 inch run. So we stretch this one out 11 inches. Again, we're gonna create measurements to make a nose on this first step. So first we're gonna do two inches straight out and then another two inches down and then one inch down on the, uh, the, the left side. This will be the tip of the nose. Now we're gonna grab all of these together and group them by pushing the purple button. Now that they're grouped, we can turn the floors layer on again And we can grab that group, uh, align our controllers, pull it back, and pull the trigger button to make a copy. So now you should have uh, two sets of these measurements, one on the right side and one on the left side. Now we're going to create uh, a plane of sub D. And we're gonna make it the same color as the floor. And here I didn't realize, but my active layer is set to invisible. So I'm gonna go back to my layers menu and set that to visible. I'm going to grab this piece of sub D and put it in edit mode. And now I'm going to create the nose of the top layer by snapping one point uh, right there in the upper right 
and the other point down here a little bit to the left, a little down into the left. And now I'm going to pull and stretch it all the way across to the other side and do the same thing, um, one in the upper left corner and one in the lower right. I'm going to pull out, ex extrude um, by pulling the trigger on my controller and I'm going to pull this back. And now you should have this sideways V shape. And now I'm going to create a new plane of sub D, put it in edit mode, and this will be this will become our first actual step. So just snap to the upper corners here and here. And then down to the corners uh, just adjacent to that. And then stretch it out uh, just to before the tip. And then stretch down and to the left and down and to the right. And now stretch out, uh, extrude using the um, trigger. And that's our first step. Now we can turn all the other layers back on by clicking the X on the measure layer. Now I actually created the steps on the measure layer, but I want them on the floors layer, so I'm going to move them there now. Next, we're going to go to the settings menu and we're going to set uh, smart move all the way to the right. For this next part, you're probably going to want to stand up and leave a little bit of physical room behind you. Intersect the step with your grab sphere. Align your controllers diagonally down and backwards. Grab the step and begin to slide the controller along the diagonal for one step length and then pull and hold the trigger while you continue to slide your controller to the floor. I wound up creating one more step than I needed so I'm just deleting that here. If you find that any of your steps went a little too far to the left or right, simply align your controllers and adjust the position of the step until its edges are tucked away neatly within the walls. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you found this useful. Uh, next time we'll be adding roofing and siding. See you then.